Some people play the violin. Damon Gray says he was born to build them. Damon makes violins, violas, and cellos from his tiny shop on the eastern fringe of Over the Rhine. Damon is a native of Charleston, South Carolina. He came to Cincinnati to study music at the College Conservatory of Music, and he came back to start his business. He builds and repairs instruments for a number of musicians in the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra and elsewhere. Let's step into his shop, take a look at his process, and talk to him about the art of making musical instruments. There have been a few uh, modifications made over the years, but by and large, it's a very uh, traditional craft. Not a whole lot has changed. This is a new violin uh, that I'm working on currently. The, the sides are, are all bent and glued to the blocks. This is a form that will come out later after these uh, pieces are done. People don't you know, buy a new handcrafted violin around here every day. Um, so I need to be represented in other markets. Uh, but at the time I moved here, there was really you know, very little of this going on here. Uh, of course, we have a great symphony here, a very fine school of music, and there was a lot of potential uh, to, to help people around here. I do a lot of uh, tapping. You know, when you're doing the thicknesses, um, you can get to a point where it's very clear and has the right sort of flexibility. Like a cello, it's, it's a little harder, but uh, you get a, a kind of a real clear sort of bell sound. Um, and some people actually tune those to specific pitches. Um, I, I prefer to just go for a real a free ringing sound and have the plate have a, the right kind of flexibility. Most of what I do is done with, you know, small knives and gouges and planes that I've made over the years. You've made your own tools? Uh, some, some not. These, not all of these. I made the knife handle, for instance, but some of these, uh, there's, a, there's a couple little planes that I've made, but <laughs> really small, just for carving uh, detailed, you know, edge work when I'm building a new instrument. For vast majority of makers use classic uh, patterns. You, you, imitate a Stradivari or a Guarneri a model, and I've done most of my work that way, but I've tried to focus on developing some personal models. And there's subtle changes, not, you're, I'm not looking to revolutionize the, you know, the outline of a violin, 